An Austin couple is recounting those chaotic moments when robbers smashed jewelry cases at the Hellsburg Diamond Store inside of the Barton Creek Square Mall. Some witnesses thought it was a shooting Saturday night, but no guns were fired. Austin police are now investigating the incident. CBS Austin's Paige Hubbard is live tonight. Paige, you talked to a couple who are grateful to be safe. Juan Rodriguez and Santiago Mejia were on a surprise date shopping for wedding rings at Barton Creek Mall Saturday night. The couple stopped at Hillsburg Diamond Store to look at its selection and say two minutes after they walked out, chaos erupted. We saw people running, screaming, uh, telling everybody to hide, get down. They started on the speakers, locked the doors, shut the gates, and then it just, everybody went crazy. The commotion was a result of robbers smashing glass cases at the jewelry store. Austin police officers responded to the scene for a robbery hotshot call around 830. Shortly after reports of gunshots came in, after bystanders were evacuated from the mall and nearby, detectives discovered people mistook the sound of robbers breaking hard in glass as gunfire. They did ultimately break the glass and were able to get away with some items. They locked all the doors. This video captured by Juan Rodriguez shows what was unfolding inside the mall as people panicked, trying to escape the couple hid in a JCPenney stock room with employees and say the situation was terrifying. It was scary because like 10 minutes before it all happened, I had told them that coming to the mall makes me paranoid. You know, you see all these shootings, you see all these stabbings that happen all over the world, especially here in the U.S. Police say there were no victims and no evidence showed someone had a gun or shots were fired. I hope they catch them. One, because of the chaotic scene that we saw with these families, they were just panicking, crazed, terrorized, traumatic. The situation is now being investigated as a robbery. Officers have not made any arrests, but are reviewing security video for leads. At approximately 1.32 a.m., officers were called to a robbery in progress at address 7238 Bone Road. Uh, it's a cafe called Cafe L'Amour. It's a, a game room slash uh, cafe. Uh, when officers arrived, they saw uh, about three suspects uh, get out of the, the, the store or the, the restaurant and run into a vehicle. The vehicle was a white uh, GMC SUV. Uh, as they tried to approach and tried to make a traffic stop on them, they took off and a chase occurred. Uh, the chase started around uh, 1.39 a.m. and ended about 1.53 a.m., so about 14 minutes. Uh, officers were able to use a, a pit maneuver, uh, which is a technique that uh, certain officers are trained to use in order to stop a, a vehicle that's fleeing. Uh, they were able to take all the suspects into custody uh, there were five suspects, four females and uh, one uh, male. They're all juveniles between the ages of 14 to uh, 19. Uh, the driver was 19, which uh, he's considered an adult. Uh, that's the information that we have so far. Basically, uh, the preliminary information that we gathered so far, we're still investigating, is that they walked into this uh, game room place, uh, shot one run into the air, uh, and uh, started uh, demanding cash from uh, the people that were inside there. Uh, they robbed everybody uh, that were inside and then they, they took off. Officers were able to recover a pistol and also recover a bunch of cash. Uh, we're still investigating. We're still trying to figure out exactly what occurred over there. Uh, we have officers at the scene. They're looking at camera footage and we also have a robbery um, and route. Uh, with that, I'll open to any other questions that you guys may have. The male was driving, he's the adult, and uh, the, the, the rest of them were females, and uh, they, uh, they're the ones that did the robbery. No, we, we're, we're still trying to figure out exactly what occurred. Uh, we didn't recover no shotgun, we recovered a pistol. So we don't know if uh, who shot that and all that. We're going to be looking at footage and uh, camera footage and talk to witnesses, trying to figure uh, out exactly what occurred. I have just uh, arrived in Mayfield, uh, Kentucky, where the disaster of the tornadoes just ripped through here. And Mark Roy with Somebody Care San Antonio is no stranger to disaster relief. For years, he's traveled to the most tragic scenes of natural disasters. This time, it's Kentucky literally looks like a bomb's been dropped. Devastation everywhere, uh, houses leveled, buildings leveled. When Mark and other parts of the team arrived, search and rescue efforts had just turned to search 
and recovery. It's almost like sacred ground, you know. I've been in so many different disasters and, uh, you know, you think you'd get used to it, but you don't. Mark is back in San Antonio for now, preparing to return to Kentucky this weekend. Somebody Cares has been partnering with churches there, showing them the ropes on how to help people who now have nothing. Their main point of distribution is in Madisonville, a tiny area that missed the brunt of tornadic damage. It's where they've given out food, water, everyday necessities. The group continues to receive donations. We have warehousing there. Uh, that's where we have uh, truckloads coming in. Uh, United Cajun Navy, they've been sending product in. Great people from Louisiana. But Mark says it's the people of San Antonio that continue to make their trips possible. Even from 900 miles away, the Alamo City's donations are making a difference. I'm just real proud of San Antonio. The San Antonio always steps up. It's such a compassionate city, and I'm, I'm just really appreciative of the, the community of San Antonio.